Yes, uh, I'm Chris Verhoeven. I'm an associate professor at the uh, University of Delft. Mm -hmm. I'm also the leader of the Swarm team in the Robotics Institute. The Robotics Institute, we, uh, we make swarms of uh, robots. We try to do that with uh, little robots like this, Zebro, six-legged robots. This is the smallest one we have. On the table we have a bigger one. But we also work on, uh, on UAVs, like, uh, like this one, Delft Light. This is uh, autonomously flying. It's a lot of work, which means we have uh, a lot of big teams that, uh, that work with that. And supervising all those teams or helping them because we believe those six leg robots are very good at surviving in Mars and Thailand. So we are working very hard now in, in finding, uh, finding the proof. I'm Alex Hollink, I'm from the Rotterdam University of Applied Sciences. I've been working on the, uh, with my team on the backbone. Uh, it's the motherboard of the Zebro. It uh, distributes all the power from the batteries uh, to the different submodules and all the legs. Backbone is also responsible for maintaining all the security measurements uh, for the currents and voltage levels. Uh, when a leg would get stuck and the motor drives wouldn't be able to uh, react, the backbone would uh, cut off the power. Hello, I'm Doi Mirta. I'm from TU Delft. Uh, I'm a design engineer. And on the Zebra Rover, I uh, work most on the design aspects, uh, casing work arranging the internal components and uh, the reason for the casing is actually to protect internal components from environmental hazards uh, uh, and also to make the rover look good. Uh, we actually um, opted for a casing that actually sits on top of, uh, of, the, of a drive system uh, to make the system more modular and easier to uh, work on. Hi, my name is Marib Yusuf and I am a master's student in TU Delft. My, major, my majors are embedded systems. My task is actually to develop stereo vision system for the Zebra project. It will enable the Zebra to avoid uh, obstacles autonomously. Hi, my name is Ram and I'm working on the robot design and especially tasked to work on the leg module and the robot manipulator that goes on the robot. So the robot has been redesigned for ERC to carry additional loads. If we redesign, we, it, that also implies that we have a lot of challenges along with it. So we use software to validate our design and uh, uh, we use a simulation software called VREP to do it. And the software is quite advantageous because it not only validates the mechanical design but also validates the software that runs on it. When it comes to manufacturing, we use aluminium, carbon fiber and 3D printed parts because 3D printed parts have been extensively used on, on, on uh, the manipulator because uh, we need a much uh, integrated design for the for the motors and its electronics. Uh, we are looking forward for uh, the ERC and hope uh, to see you soon.